With your local and area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. The Shelby County Commissioner's Court will have a meeting this morning at 9.30 a.m. in the active Shelby County Courthouse. The Center City Council meeting that was scheduled for this evening has been canceled. Motors traveling southbound on US-59 at the Angelina Ripper Bridge should be prepared for delays beginning today. Concrete is expected to be poured, weather permitting, to replace the southbound bridge railing. Traffic will be confined to one lane on the southbound bridge. In addition, there will be a 10-foot width restriction during this closure. For more information, please contact the Texas Department of Transportation at 936-633-4395. That's 633-4395. Moving along in your school news this morning, Center ISD is going to have a winter gala tonight starting at 5 o'clock at Center High School. It will be held in the Center High School cafeteria. Joaquin ISD is going to have their Christmas program on Thursday, December the 15th at 6 p.m. And Tenaha Band is going to hold their Christmas program on December the 19th starting at 2 p.m. in their high school cafeteria. At Shelbyville, Shelbyville ISD is going to have a school board meeting tonight starting at 6 p.m. The Shelbyville Student Council is also hosting a toy drive from now until December the 15th. You can drop off new toys at any Shelbyville school location. Shelbyville High School is hosting a play Peter Pan tonight starting at 7 p.m. in their cafeteria. Admission is $5 at the door. Joaquin School Board is going to have a school board meeting tonight at 6 p.m. Farmers and ranchers have until tomorrow to submit ballots for the USDA Farm Service Agency FSA 2016 County Committee elections. For more information, you can contact your local office at 936-564-5891. That's 936-564-5891. And at Panola College, congratulations to the Panola College men basketball team. They defeated Coastal Bend with a final score of 91. Panola College, Coastal Bend, 70. Moving along in your rest report this morning in Shelby County, David Burke, age 39, of New Roads, Louisiana, possession of a controlled substance, possession of a dangerous drug, possession of drug paraphernalia, Todd Perpeta, age 49, of Lakeland, Louisiana, possession of a controlled substance, possession of dangerous drug, possession of drug paraphernalia. Ashley Thompson, age 51, of Ventress, Louisiana, possession of a dangerous drug, possession of a controlled substance, possession of drug paraphernalia. Casey Hargrove, age 28, of Tenaha, possession of marijuana and terroristic threat. Salvador Hernandez, age 17, of Center, possession of marijuana. Donald Lindsay, age 32, of Shelbyville, possession of marijuana. And in your arrest report in St. Augustine County, Jesse G. Jackson, driving while intoxicated, third charge or more, driving without a driver's license with previous conviction, unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon, open container, failure to display driver's license, and expired driver's license. Moving along in your obituaries this morning, Mangum Funeral Home Center would like to announce services for 84-year-old Evelyn Baggett Vance of Orange, who passed away Friday the 9th at her home. Her service will be held this Thursday, the 15th at 2 p.m. at the Mangum Funeral Home Chapel with her brother Robert Beggett officiating. Burial will follow in the Strong Cemetery in Huxley. Visitation will take place one hour prior to the service at the Mangum Funeral Home Chapel. She is survived by four children, four grandchildren, three great-grandchildren, three brothers, and a host of other friends and family. For more information on any of our stories, please visit our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com. With your local area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott.